Hello and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Riff Racer, a racing slash music based game. Quite an interesting combination. I got to say a key to this one, so thank you to the developers for sending it to me. And uh, yeah, I had a little play around with it, actually quite enjoying it. Now, because it is a music based thing and YouTube and music and copyright stuff, um, kind of the, the, the most fun aspect of this is driving your favourite songs and stuff I can't really do. So I'm going to start off by showing the game off with some of the tracks that came bundled with the game. I can use these for the uh, for the video. We're going to start with a... Um, where should we go? Uh, we've got set it by, set it by difficulty. I uh, don't really want to go and, and do too easier uh try so we go for sure we'll go for around here kind of a mid a mid level mid level track here we go uh two star difficulty uh level uh there are a selection of vehicles that uh, you can unlock there's plenty of uh kind of score chasing on here the idea is that uh, the tracks you are going to be driving are based upon the song that is playing you want to try and score points by crashing in to these boxes by hopefully doing some driftings around a corner without losing control of the vehicle and you've got to stay ahead of the well you stay ahead of the glowy line that appears around here and uh, that will uh, give you extra points if you're on the glowy line then uh, that's kind of where the the song is at i believe from what i have, uh, have figured out oh bucket there's a uh, thing up there to uh, crash into don't want to be doing that um the car itself, this is kind of the most important thing. When it comes to a, a game about driving, the car handling physics has got to be spot on. And on here, it actually works pretty well. The car is, uh, is responsive, it gets turned into corners quite nicely. It's a fun vehicle to drive. Uh, if you hold X, it kind of goes into a, a drift mode. I don't want to say X is a handbrake because it doesn't quite work like that because it doesn't slow the car down as such. You can hold X to go basically drift the car easier. Don't just tap it as I was initially to kind of get the car drifting. If you do that, things get a little bit unhappy. So you have got to hold it down to get the car to sort of flow through the corners. Otherwise, yeah, you end up sort of flapping around. Uh, if you, as you can see, as you're drifting around, you score points, uh, jumps and so on, not that we seem to have any on this course, uh, we'll also score you points in the boxes. Uh, we'll score you points. And you kind of got a multiplier for staying ahead of the thing. You've got to avoid the barriers and so on and so forth. As you are scoring points and gaining points, you will increase the uh, little boost bar that we see at the back of the car. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a distance uh, in some respects, this game. Uh, we're certainly with a kind of a HUD on the back of the uh, of the vehicle there. So yeah, as you gain points, you gain boost to try and sort of keep yourself ahead of that little bar and and whatnot. Yeah, it's um, it's a good driving it's a good driving game. You get a certain amount of in air control as well. I was kind of hoping that uh, this track was going to have some more uh, kind of jumps and rolls and flips and and whatnot to play around with. Because, yeah, there's kind of, oh, here we go, we've got some sort of split ramps to try and do flips off and gain points, and you've got to position the car and whatnot. Oh, Christ, we're going to roll completely the wrong way off of the split ramp, but get away with it, and now we're, now we're doing motocross jumps by the uh, looks of it. Oh, God, where is the track going? Actually does a very good job of... When tracks sort of start going so roller coastery, it's very easy to lose track of where on earth you're going. Track Mania Turbo does it sometimes, where you just don't have a clue and you've got to run through the tracks three or four times to uh, really get the hang of where on earth you're going. On here, it actually does a very good job of the tracks being visible, uh, kind of visible enough at least, to uh, know where you're where you're going on on the first run. Yeah, you know you'll make the odd mistake here and there, but uh, on the whole, the combination of car and track works very well. I complete idiot and missed that boost. That's a very very big jump across there. Uh, the tracks, of course, some are absolutely balmy. Some of them are relatively uh, relatively sensible. I would perhaps like a little bit more challenging in terms of track. What have we got going on here? Okay, I was wondering what that, that looping around bit was, but uh, never mind. Um, yeah, I would prefer perhaps a slightly more challenging. Certainly a lot of the so so a lot of the songs that I have stuck in tends to be kind of rock and heavy metal stuff, and that generates tracks with an awful, awful lot of loops. For, I think there was one track I had that was probably 40% loops 
Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It was quite an entertaining experience, to say the least. But, um, yeah, <laughs> the, uh, the, the track generation, I think, could possibly be a little bit more on the on the technical side they're fun enough to drive around at times as well with some of the some of the circuits i struggle to sort of see how it kind of matches up with the music as such uh, it's not that they're they're not bad tracks at all they are good fun to to race around this game is it's got a little bit more laid back in many respects for the uh, for the racing it's not quite as frantic i personally i would prefer Certainly the option to have more frantic tracks. You can have more laid-back tracks if you like. There we go. We have uh, completed that uh, particular one. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Hey, I drove 100% in sync. I didn't fall off the track or I crashed into a couple of barriers, but there we go. Um, yeah, I scored some points. I got an achievement. Um, I boosted more than 20 times, apparently. Yay, we have, I've reached level 1 and got some coins. Fantastic. Just sort of XP going with it. And we have some currency uh, because it's a fair bit of car customization, which is always nice. Let's back out of here. We're going to head into the garage. So there is, in fact, there's a fair number of vehicles to uh, to choose from to uh, unlock. All I don't think it makes any actual difference to the driving. Some of them are very interesting looking cars. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're, they're just different cars to own to collect. That is an expensive one. Looks very cool, but it's a very very expensive one. Uh, we have got 1,500, so that's what we start with. We go in here and have a, uh, a customize. You can have it in a very expensive blue. I quite like that. I quite like actually on the car. Uh, we can go for for full orange. Um, I don't know if there's any cars with proper Ferrari's paints, orange and black. But uh, oh no, wait, I don't want to buy that car just yet. So we'll see what else we can what else we can get. So we can go for a slammed pickup. We can't inf we can't afford the the Inferno. So our choices are a slammed pickup, a kind of large classic American car. Or a little sports car with interesting. Lots of cars have these interesting sticky outy bits. I quite, I quite like the the car style on here. They're just sort of cr gone crazy. Um, yeah, we'll go with the rocket. I think uh, rocket or Havana. Mm, I think I should. I do prefer the the rocket. So we'll get this one here. Let's just have a look what customization options we have got. Um, I haven't quite got the again. Yeah, quite got the orange and black. That's. I mean, change the guys around a little bit. I do quite like that paint as well on here so yeah you can mess around with your with your vehicles and whatnot let's go and have a look at a, another track shall we we'll go back to the uh, the bundled tracks um uh, shall we go with the most difficult one here uh, i have driven this i think i've driven this track once so right up to the uh, the five star difficulty for me this game the most fun I have with this game is at the higher difficulty levels with this when you've got to sort of be constantly constantly thinking it's kind of these one of these games that you could just sort of sit and waste 30 minutes very easily you know when you've just got a little bit of time to kill oh, uh, and just you know listening to random songs and just kind of having fun driving the cars as opposed to just sort of simply sitting and, and listening to whatever music it might be that uh, that you like that's quite um yeah, quite a good way of uh, a, a good a good thing. Um, there have been a few games that have tried similar things. I've never played Audio Surf, but um, you know that, that kind of style of game as well is is what this is going after. And because having cars much preferred, or much 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 preferable for me. Oh, I completely buggered that one up with the jump. I was trying to be clever and flip the car. You can roll vehicles in here, so it's properly fail race approved. Unfortunately, I'm doing an awful, awful job of showing it, and I've gone to one jump here that wasn't a split wrap. Right, fire all of the boost. I've got to try and catch up and uh, gain some points. Oh, God, we're now we're going all trippy <laughs> with many, many glowy lights around this. Okay, I'm not quite sure why this one does this at this stage. I'm not sure it's like to do with the music or just quite what it is about it but uh, there we go we're going all the yeah, psychedelic uh I've got to try and hold that drift button around these corners i should probably drift around more to gain more points unfortunately yeah uh, oh god it's just not a natural thing for me to want to be doing come to a corner as the car has got plenty of grip to uh, to take the turns it's just the the drifting is for is for points essentially Oh, if we could, we try and, <laughs> see I gained 700 points by not really driving very much differently to how I was already going, like just on the limit of what it counts as a drifting, that's what we want to be doing here, just to gain us some extra points and gain us some kind of, I guess, boost or whatever you want to call it, we can gain that one there free, oh, we're gonna 
twist around. It's only... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Forgot about that bit. We got to roll in. It wasn't a one really done by me. That was just the way that the track curves. But never mind, we've gained a boost, fire that. Oh, we've launched ourselves off into space. Oh crap, that's not a good place to restart either. Ah, not quite go to, uh, not go to plan there whatsoever. Let's try and get ourselves back on target up there. That's more like it. Yeah, when, when the tracks get a little bit more technical, when you go up to the higher difficulties, it's, um, oh god, an interesting one to drive. These ones here, I said earlier that, uh, oh no, I'm bumping into the walls now, that uh, you can find where the tracks go. Yeah, these ones take a little bit more, but it's, it's never quite as crazy as uh, ooh, as track mania and so on. Uh, not quite got the hang of the, these tighter, twistier, cordery bits. I'm much better on here the first time I came through. Good doubt, now I'm recording, I'm doing awfully. Come back! Just chasing the bars around. Of course, there is plenty of, uh, oh, that was a... I was expecting me to change direction there, and I couldn't quite uh, get it turned. I've not done. Yeah, I'm completely. Oh, bloody hell, game! Thank you for the uh, for the readjustment there. <laughs> not quite ready for that. One. I've done shockingly bad, and I apologise for that. Uh, yeah, as far as chasing these bars down, if you want to compete with friends and, and ghosts of, of leaderboard times, etc., you can you can do that, and you can go racing against their cars. That was shocking and I apologize I did so much better uh, <laughs> when I think I was trying to drift around to get points and then that completely and utterly screwed me over roll more than four beats in one maneuver yeah I, I had a pretty big flip in all of that got some more money yeah I drove very very badly on that one unfortunately kind of the the main attraction and the most fun that you can have with this game is the bit that I can't quite show you because the motion enjoyment you get out of this is you know you'll you'll take your your songs and try and find which song creates the most interesting track, the craziest track, or, you know, just have fun listening to them, you know, your own music, whatever, and go driving around. Now, of course, I can't play the music to this one for copyright reasons, so I will have to mute the... In fact, if we go in here and we will we will mute the game, uh, we'll mute the music, but we will keep the uh, the car sounds for this. I'm just going to make sure that uh, that all saved. Yes, indeed it did. Um... Because, yeah, we can't, unfortunately, um, yeah, play the music. This is the, the most difficult one that I found of my ones that it would uh, do. A lot of the kind of heavy metal stuff that I put on here, it wanted to create relatively easy tracks. It just did many, many loops, as I said. This one created a fantastically balmy circuit that uh, was uh, <laughs> quite... Quite an interesting, quite an interesting one. If you have this game, I recommend you go check it out. Because, uh, yeah, this is quite, uh, quite a cool... Uh, quite a cool track. It's certainly nowhere near as much fun when you uh, don't have the music going on. Oh, I went to go for the thing and we completely and utterly missed. There are rolls, which is always good. There we go, that's more like it. We've got to try and get as many of them as we can. And I'm not going to prat around with the drifting like a moron. Here we go, we've got jumps. And I like the aesthetics of the game. It does kind of remind me quite a bit of distance in... Um, <laughs> in kind of visuals as well as, oh god, we're smacking into things. Yeah, we don't have the crazy saws and whatnot to destroy the cars and the silly obstacles, but uh, yeah, kind of uh, aesthetically, it does remind me a fair bit of it. That's not a bad thing. I like this kind of style, and it works very well for this this sort of, uh, of game. Oh, okay, we have to go for a drifty bit around there, sort the car out again. Oh, we're ooh, running a little bit close to the inside wall. We've gained another boost. Got to try and Pick and choose your moment to uh, fire that boost. It's very easy to end up uh, launching yourself into the wall. As you can see, more loops. Many, many, many of the loops uh, in these songs. Ah, I'm not doing it. I'm still not driving relatively well the first song. I'm not, just not doing very well here. I might have to go for a, a little bit of a drift there because we're oh, starting to head out towards the wall. Uh, Careful yeah, now, it gets a little bit narrow in a couple of places. More, oh god, I just got off the drifting and it was just kind of moving around a little bit on its own there. We're going to go, oh, there we go, back ourselves uh, down here and plenty of these little bumps. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, I like it. I, it's one of these games, it's not going to take, you know, days away from me, not in the same way like Total Warhammer, uh, or Total War Warhammer, sorry, can do, but it's one of those games that when you've got an hour to kill or whatnot, or, you know, 30 minutes to kill even, you can go and play around with a couple of tracks and see what, um, see what crazy stuff your favourite songs can come up with. 
Ah, I do, I do quite like it, and the cars. Uh, just a couple of times, I've found with the with the drifting, it can get a little bit on the funky side, uh, with the kind of transitioning and it not quite wanting. To, kind of, <laughs> in some ways, like the the Need for Speed nonsense, where it's it doesn't quite want to stop drifting, but it's only very occasionally that uh, that it does that. Uh, on the most part, yeah, the car is is good fun to drive. Uh, the, the circuits, not always, um, yeah, don't always perfectly kind of or don't quite match up to the songs in the way that I would expect I don't quite know how the algorithms and whatnot work to uh, to create the tracks there are some times where I think that they could do a lot more to make circuits more interesting uh, as I said especially notice it with my kind of songs other sort of music I'm don't don't know <laughs> don't know with but um, yeah it I like it it's definitely a very good a very good sort of uh, time waster game this one. I have been playing this on a uh, 360 controller. I forgot to mention that at the start. I would highly recommend a controller for it. It is uh, a lot more fun. As far as kind of like accelerating goes, the car has a fixed speed. Now I am uh, you, you can have an option uh, to turn kind of manual control of the throttle on or off. You're going to be pretty much flat out the entire way. You're not going to slow down and brake for corners. Uh, essentially you're, you're going to be hopefully getting a nice line through them so that you can go flat out through the course. So, yeah, I, I wanted the uh, controller just for the steering so that you can do little steering inputs as opposed to a, a keyboard. But, um, yeah, there we go, 92% in sync. That was, uh, I don't know if that was more points than I got last time or not, actually. I'm not sure on running through that circuit. But, um, here we go. Uh, is that going to... Yes, I believe I would have got uh, slightly higher points that time around. Return back to the uh, the main menu. Yeah, that is uh, is Riff Racer. I I would recommend the game, definitely. Uh, it is 10.99, I think. Um, perhaps uh, a little bit more than I would like for what is essentially a bit of a, a time waster. Uh, it kind of depends on, on how much you, know, you, you want a game to kind of just listen to music to and, and go exploring through the tracks, if that is very much your thing, if you loved audio surf and that kind of stuff. While this is a little bit more relaxed and some of them doesn't quite get as, as fiddly and as technical, uh, it, is, it is good fun, of course. If you want uh, car stuff, yeah, it's... Um it's a good game. I have have enjoyed my enjoyed my uh, time with it. However, that is it for this uh, video. And you know, as I said, I apologise. I can't really show you the most fun part of of creating your own tracks for the uh, the stupid copyright stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.